Hello, 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 can you hear me? Okay. Hello, good morning, everybody. I hope you had a good weekend. So to start off this Monday morning, we have two speeches, and the first one is by Kavika in 12th grade. So please give a round of applause for him. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Who here has wondered what it takes to become not only a better student, but also a better person? <laughs> what if I told you the answer was as simple as joining a school sport? Let me explain. Joining a school sport will teach you time management because you have to balance practices, games, and academics. When I first started sports, my grades dropped. But as soon as I learned to manage my time better and cut out distractions, my grades got better. Sports will also teach you discipline. You have to go to practice every day, and you won't always feel like it. I know I didn't. When I played football, I probably only wanted to go to practice about 30% of the time, but I still went every day because I was disciplined. Discipline does not only apply to sports, it will help you in every aspect of your life, and especially in school. Sports will also teach you teamwork because you are forced to work with others and you'll, you'll make friends that you never thought you would have if you didn't play that sport. Sports are a great way to make friends. Sorry, give me a second. It doesn't matter what grade you're in, whether you're a freshman or a senior, if you're on a sports team together, you have to help each other and work with each other to help each other grow. It's, it's a great way to make lifelong friends that will last forever. When you graduate high school and go off to college, you can reminisce on all the good times you have playing sports with your friends. Sports is a great way to boost your confidence as well. It boosts your confidence by building a sense of self-worth and achievement. It is also a great way to stay in great health. It encourages you to eat healthy and be active. This is not only great for your physical health, but your mental health as well, because it helps regulate the hormones that keep you from getting overly stressed. Exercise always helps me to be in a good mood. Whenever I'm, whenever I'm stressed or nervous, my favorite thing to do is exercise. The benefits of school sports extend past the quarter of the field. It influences how we personally grow. So the next time you consider playing a school sport, remember it's not just about playing the sport, it's about honing the skills that will make you better in every aspect of your life. So I hope this speech encourages you to join a school sport that interests you. Thank you. Thank you, Kavika. Speaking of school sports, you may see her on the volleyball court and out there paddling. So please welcome Makalani Carey in 12th grade. Hi, I'm Makalani Carey and I'm a senior. Everybody has that one person that we admire and aspire to be like. For me, it's my grandpa. My grandpa is the calmest and kindest soul I know, and he has always shown great care and patience toward my sister and I. I remember this one time, my sister and I wounded his eardrums by singing the lyrics to Etta James, I'd Rather Go Blind, and even then, he stayed calm. One day in particular is stained in my mind. I was in first grade at Haiku School, and after school, I'd play with all the random kids that populated the playground as my grandpa patiently waited under the shade of the big trees. Right next to the playground was a layout of sand with big tires that stuck halfway out of the ground in a wide oval shape. One of the girls going before me was maintaining a fast speed. I followed behind her right at her heels. 
I try to jump onto the next tire, but I trip and plant my face into the hot rubber. I get up stunned. The pain is throbbing viciously right above my upper lip, and my cycles blurry as the tears flood my vision and the blazing sun beams down on me. I panic profusely as my grandpa comes over and I ask, am I bleeding? But he looks at me and just says no. But I feel liquid dripping down my lips, so I grab the top of my red Justin Bieber shirt and wipe my lips. Even though the shirt is red, I look down and know that, those, that the liquid on my shirt is not tears, it's dark red. I panic even more and say, am I bleeding, am I bleeding? But still he looks at me and just says, no, you're fine. Fast forward a day later, when the blood had all cleared, I looked into the mirror and saw what my grandpa was referring to tell me. From the skin right above my upper lip to almost the tip of my nose was a clean tear, as if someone unzipped that part of my face. I walked around school with a small little circle band-aid, and some parents came up to me telling me how sorry they were as they cried. Fast forward a week later at my grandparents' house, I take off the small little band-aid for my grandpa to see the cut. As, at the same time, my auntie walks out of the bathroom, sees the cut, and faints, hitting her head in the toilet as she collapses. My grandpa and I rush over to her and have to wake her up with a wet towel. That's how bad it really was. Seeing how much my cut affected those around me made me realize how impressive my grandpa's ability to maintain a state of tranquility really was. And although he saw how deep the cut was and how much I was bleeding, he remained calm in order to keep me from panicking too much. All that remains today of the cut is a small scar above my upper lip. But I've realized how much I admire to carry myself the way my grandpa does. Adding stress to an already stressful situation helps nobody. And that is why I aspire to carry myself like my grandpa does. Thank you. Thank you to our two speeches. Um, okay. Raise your hand if you're excited for holiday. Woohoo! It's gonna be amazing. And raise your hand if you want a free month of breakfast. That sounds pretty good. So we have only today and tomorrow left. Tomorrow is holiday, as you know, because it got pushed back. But um, yeah, so get your cheer on and make sure that your section is as decorated as you can make it. And make sure you tell Tulip Hori by December 8th if you want to do Seabury Hall's Got Talent. Um, as intimidating as it sounds, it's a lot of fun. So be sure to sign up if you're interested. And upper school play auditions on stage is Monday, December 11th and Tuesday, December 12th. And there's a table read on Thursday, December 14th. And make sure you ask Miss Kelly if you have any questions or if you're interested. And make sure you go visit the library from November 29th through midterms to enjoy the nativity scene created by all the Spanish classes. I took a peek and it looks really cool. So yeah, and we have two weeks left until midterm. So make sure you utilize these after school helps, math specific, and we have a CSL opportunity, the Holiday Helpers Alumni Cakey Crafting and Games. So check that out if you're interested. And please give a drum roll because we have something really cool. Please give it up for the middle school band. Woohoo!
Good morning, Seabury Hall. Tis the season. Let's give it up for the middle school band. As the upper school band gets ready behind me, I really want to invite all of you. I know everyone is participating for the decorations, but really bring your families to the Seabury Holidays event. I mean, if you're not in the mood yet, when we're playing all this music and all the decorations are there and the sun is going down and the tree lights are going up, I mean, that's really an exciting thing, right? No matter what faith you're in, no matter what you're traditions or cultures are at home or in your wider families and communities, this time of the year is always such a special time of the year where the light is going away and the darkness, the night is longer. It's a time of reflection. And so in that time of reflection, we think about all, uh, all of the blessings that we have here, how lucky we are to have this safe community of Seabury Hall, of Maui, no matter all of the troubles and the tribulations and the hardships and the grief that we're going through from the fires, we can find that light because it's going to come back, right? That last song that we just played, the, the, contemporary, middle, the contemporary music ensemble from grade seven and eight played Candlesticks, and that was our honoring of Hanukkah. And uh, we're keeping in mind all the people around the world that have hardships much, much more worse than ours, all of those people in conflicts. And thinking of that same uh, feeling to give the, the vibes of peace out to the world, to all those, those people in conflict, we're going to play a very traditional song from a different part of the world. You know this as Carol of the Bells, Hark to the Bells, but really it's a Ukrainian folk song. And so the piece that we're playing for you is the Ukrainian Bell Carol. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Mount Alay Music Ensemble, our upper schoolers. Give them a round of applause.
We've been really proud in the music department with Ms. Shad's classes, Mr. Toda's classes, my own, about how much the students are really getting into the music and really learning a lot. Music education is alive and well here at Seabury Hall. And that piece that we just played and the next piece that we're going to play are almost more like classical orchestral pieces than the pop stuff that we've been playing for the last couple of years. So it's nice to be able to really dig into this meaty music with the students and really get them ready. Um, as with small ensembles, we always have to be ready. So I'm going to jump around and play a couple different things. You might recognize this next song. It's called Korobeniki, and it's a Russian folk song. But it was made famous in the 1980s um, with my generation with getting video games for their first times. And one of the most globally famous video games was Tetris. Raise your hand if you've ever played Tetris or a version of that. Yeah, that's almost 100% of our audience in-house right now. I'm sure in the live stream as well. And um, so it was made famous from Tetris, but it's really a Russian folk song that goes back to the 1800s, just like the one that you just heard us play with the Ukrainian bear carol. So thanks very much. We're going to play this last tune, and then Harmony will dismiss you all. Okay, thank you so much, you guys. If you want to see more of them perform and also a little bit of chorus, please come to our show tomorrow after the holiday. Um, it's going to be filled with lots of cheer. So, yeah, have a great day. You're all dismissed. <laughs>